Dave Portnoy talks about Safe Moon once again on Fox Business. So this is a great follow-up to the previous video I talked about with James Corden, who is a late, late show talk show host who mentioned very briefly also about Safe Moon. So this is only 34 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and play it so that you guys can hear what he had to say, and then I will give my thoughts and my opinions. And guys, just as usual, keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, what was that? Uh, Safe Moon. How much have you lost? So Safe Moon made a little comeback about a week and a half ago. I put 40 grand in, it went all the way down to seven, and then it went back up to 16 because Safe Moon's coming out with the wallet. I think last time I checked, which is yesterday, I had about 11 grand. So I went from 40 down to 11. So it's not doing great, but I'm diamond handing this. <laughs> well, what's diamond hands? What's that mean? That means I'm gonna hold it till it goes bust, or I'm gonna see it come all the way back. I'm not selling it. Um, what was that? Uh, safe. Okay, so the big thing that I wanna point out with this for you guys is the fact that he said he's diamond handing it. And he clarified that means that, you know, it either goes to zero or this thing goes to the moon, but either way, he's writing it out. And the thing is, you need to keep in mind, Dave Portnoy, who's the head of Barstool Sports, okay? He has a history of being what's called paper handed. So if diamond hands means that you hold on, you're very strong. Paper hands obviously means you're very weak. With Bitcoin, he got in with the Winklevoss twins. They got him set up with it. He waited just a little bit and then he sold off everything. And he missed out on a huge run where it pushed up like six times more. And that's his own fault. But it's not only that. He also did the same thing with like AMC stock. He basically sold off there and people said the same thing. There's been other positions where he's entered in. He was like, hey, let's go. Let's do this, this, and that, and that. And then he sells it for a loss. And everyone is like, you got small, weak paper hands, right? And so the thing is that when he came in with Safe Moon, if you guys don't know the little background on this, he did a little promo media video where he had different hats, like he was going to join a sports team. And there was Doge, and there was, I think, Shiba Inu, and I think there was Hoge as well. Yeah, I remember Hoge because a lot of the Hoge community thought he was going to choose that one. And, of course, there was Safe Moon, and then there might have been one or two others. So he chose Safe Moon. He's like, why did I choose it? I don't know. I like the name. I, it makes me feel safe, and I want to go to the moon, right? And so he said, I don't know if it's a pyramid scheme or what, but you get in the bottom if it is. And he's like, but I don't know. He's like, I don't know. He's like, I just picked it, right? And so he said, I'm going to diamond hand this one. And as he mentioned here, his value went down considerably, but he still hasn't sold. He sold off Bitcoin. He sold off AMC. He sold off a lot of these other positions, but he hasn't sold off SafeMoon, and he's aware of the wallet. He's aware of the news, the bad news that just came out, right? This whole drama situation where it was like it was supposed to launch, and then it didn't. Now it's being delayed, and everyone is really questioning things. And guess what? He's like, ride or die. I'm diamond handing it still. So if he can have a commitment to something like this and believe in it, that should give you guys a little bit more faith in you guys in your own position. So again, this is not financial advice. You can sell it whenever you want. You can hold on for as long as you want. Me, I'm diamond handing it. I've doubled down. I've tripled down on my position with these dips on these things. I look to the future and what opportunities that those bring. I don't want to wait my entire life to just find out that I lived a life of regret. I'd rather take risks right now and be happy that I took those opportunities because if you take enough risk at some point, it's going to pay off. But you have to take risk. If you play life just really calm, casual, you can't expect massive change. There will be gradual, small, incremental change. but. You know, where is it that you're really trying to get to in life? You want to be able to retire early? You want to be able to have that freedom, that stress off of your shoulders? You have to take risks. But remember, with investing, the number one golden rule of investing is never invest more than you're willing to lose. And there's too many people that I'm seeing in comments on Twitter, on the YouTube comments, on Reddit, people losing 
they're flipping minds because of price movements that happen with SafeMoon and about how much that they've lost and how much that they're down and this and that. If you're that emotionally unstable over this, you probably invested too much into it. <clears throat> Anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video, guys. I am going to include a link for crypto.com. It is a referral link, so you can get 50 bucks. It is something that I just saw starting to take place here. I actually forgot to put on my other video. I need to go put that in the comments <clears throat> real quick. I also got a referral link for Weeble and for Gemini. So feel free to check this out. It's free money. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. Feel free to share this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode.